Yo, what's up everybody? This is Michael Martin, your favorite pool ninja. We are on my very large apartment building remodel job today. And today we're dealing with the coping installation. So what you're gonna see is that the base work has already been repaired and prepared. So the first step to installing today's coping, which is a handmade custom material order, is going to be to set up the form boards. The form boards get nailed to the inside wall of the pool. This helps us establish a level, and then we will follow that level as we go around the top of the pool 360. Today we have Alfredo, who is maestro, grande pito, comida mucho pinocha, y vámonos a biblioteca. So here we are on day two of the coping installation. Part of the prep work is to repair and prepare the base. You can see we've already taken care of that in the days prior to today. Today is installation day. So step one is going to be to anchor our form boards to the inside of the pool. This can be done with a hammer and nail or powder actuated fastener. The form boards helps us to establish a level that we will then follow around the perimeter of the pool. The form board also helps us establish a mortar bed depth and thickness. I came from the mud, desert on my hands, strong like a tree, there's roots where I stand. Oh, I've been running from the law. You can see as part of our preparation for the coping installation that we have removed the old base. This is all old base material. This is the bond beam portion of the swimming pool. So the base can either be regular sat concrete, spec mix, or plastic cement and silica sand. I recommend a minimum thickness base to be at least a half inch for swimming pool coping. A two inch coping thickness is common for swimming pools. The coping material for today's job is handmade. This is a two inch thick piece. These are 12 inch wide by 24 long. These were handmade, so each one of these were made in a cast. The other thing that I can tell you about today's pieces is, is that they are square in the back. It's a uniform thickness, so there's no safety edge, and there's a bullnose front. The other thing to take note is that there is a working side and a face to this material. So you do have to pay attention to the way this stuff goes in. The corner pieces have already been prefabbed, and the radius pieces have already been prefabbed and measured. <laughs> Whenever I have a big job like this with long lines, this pool measures almost 200 linear feet. It's always a great idea to spend a little extra time in your preparation, establishing your level, and getting your form boards set. When you do this, you can really haul ass when it comes time to installation. You can run long, fast lines all the way around the pool and shoot for a one-day install.
Well, get up. Get up. Well, get up. Get up. Well, get up. Get up, get up, do the up rock. Get down and shake it when the beat drop. Get up. Well, get up. Get up, get up, do the up rock. To make for a quick installation, we take a little extra special care and time making sure our form boards are leveled out. We are working from the chalk line that we have already established, and we establish the chalk line from the laser level. A spirit level can be used to confirm your final placement. All of this contributes to a quick and efficient installation. Get up. Well, get up. Get up. Get up. Well, get up. Get up, get up, do the up rock. Get down and shake. All right, so we're at a point in the job where all the prep work is done and we're ready to start with the installation. This is a custom order, handmade coping material. We will use standard spec mix as the mud. Over here, we are mixing a batch of thin set. From my other coping video, you might already know, we like to use a little bit of thin set on the bottom of each piece to increase bond strength. <laughs> So here we are, all of the prep work is done and we're getting ready for the installation of our custom handmade coping order. We are using a mason's glue right here on the base. This is getting applied with uh, a small brush. Uh, we're throwing in the spec mix. Uh, this is going to be used as our uh, base with uh, a little bit of thin set that you saw spread on the bottom of each coping piece to increase bond strength. So the glue, to the top of the bond beam, increase bond strength there. Thin set on the underneath side of each coping piece, increase bond strength there as well. So here we have our corner piece going in, spec mix as a base, a little bit of thin set on the bottom of each piece. This is going to establish our level as we move down the entire side of this pool. Okay, the first piece is almost always the most important. This is going to establish a level or a line of level that we will follow or called following the level all the way down the side of the pool. All of the meticulous prep work that you saw us do earlier is going to pay off dividends now. Hopefully make for a quick and easy installation.
So long as you've done a meticulous job with your prep work, your installation should go seamless and relatively smooth. Here you can see we're running fast lines around this pool. The installation process should take approximately two days. This is Mike from Ultimate Pool Guy. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. If there is a next one. Maybe between now and the next one I die. Or I drown in a pool. Something. And now... Or from our sponsor. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Mother <laughs> Mother Earth, <coughs> for sponsoring today's video content. <coughs> I like to uh, philosophize and socialize, pluralize, masturbationalize. It helps me work on my jobs. Next year is Toros Chingon y Toros Chingona.